Yes, yes, hello everyone, it's me again with another video. Um, if at any point you find you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up if you find it interesting, if you find it useful. If you're new here, I'm making a new video every single day doing and talking cryptocurrencies, mostly focused on DeFi and a little bit of Bitcoin. So get yourself locked in and let's crack on. Okay, so just taking a look at some news articles in the past few days, we had this from an hour ago. Uh, Bank of Japan governor slams Bitcoin and calls BTC a speculative asset. Um, just some more people um, kind of fudding Bitcoin. Seems like everyone is just getting on the boat to um, criticize Bitcoin at the moment. And it's not really surprising, but to be honest, I would just I don't even know why we are looking at this. I would I would just kind of ignore all this news. Of course, people are going to be saying stuff like this. People have been saying stuff like this for years. It doesn't really change the value proposition. And this is another chance for Bitcoin to prove itself. The other news we had this week, probably you guys have already read it, but if any of you missed it, we got this Mark Cuban um, invests in Ethereum layup to Polygon. So he is saying that um, he's saying that he's a Polygon user, and which is really really good sign for an investor, you know, which is a really good sign because he's actually using it. So taking a quick look at their Bitcoin chart, we haven't looked for a little while. Um, today we kind of wicked down to thirty five k. I think these prices in the thirty k is is fantastic price to buy if you ask me. Um, I'm going to be trying to accumulate more definitely in this price range. We also got this, um, I think I identified it before, we got this divergence on the RSI. Ever so slight one. So actually, um, I think we are probably just going to head sideways or um, maybe a little bit down to like 33k. I can't really see us. Definitely can't see us going below 30k, and then I think once we break this 14-day um, moving average, and then I think we are just going to end up breaking through and heading up to 70k within the next couple of weeks. Looking at the Bitcoin dominance chart, we had this break up, um, up through the averages, and then we came down, and now we've found this 14-day moving average as support, and looks like um, we are probably gonna maybe sideways for a bit or break through this 30 day moving average and then I think we will head up towards this 200 day moving average okay the big thing I wanted to talk to you about today is Unilend um, Unilend is currently on Ethereum I believe yes only on Ethereum and they are now expanding to Polygon their token is available on QuickSwap already, but um, actually, I'm not really sure if I recommend buying that. Maybe um, just as speculation. So, what is Unilend? Unilend is going to be a it's going to be a platform similar to Aave. So you are going to have trading, lending, flash loans, yield farming, and much more. Okay, so. Why I'm getting excited about Unilend and what makes it different from Aave. So the difference between Aave and Unilend is that you are going to be able to lend several different tokens. I don't know how many different tokens. On here is just an example on Ethereum. But basically you're going to be able to pick from a wide variety of tokens on Polygon to lend and then borrow against. So if you find a project that you really like, then you can kind of leverage yourself up and build your stack. So I think that could be absolutely massive. Okay, so the other features we are going to have on here is also going to be flash loans. I don't want to talk too much about flash loans at the moment, um, but it means someone, an individual, can gain access to massive amounts of liquidity to do uh, arbitrage. So this is what I'm talking about. They've got the permissionless flash loans and lending. So by launching on Polygon, Unilands will give users the ability to take flash loans using any ERC20 asset, as long as there's liquidity. 
Unique Land Geo says we'll be able to utilize slash loans with any asset for new and undiscovered use cases. So if we had this uh, advanced collateral swapping, arbitrage, self liquidation protection, and innovative new use cases yet to be discovered. So I want to dig into this. I want to figure out. I want to. I want to try doing a flash loan. See, see what it's all about. Okay, so it says here that users will be able to get some portion of the fees generated to the flash loans. I also understand that if you are the token holder, so if we go after quick swap, you can already buy the token UFT. But I'm a bit skeptical about this. You can also buy the Aave token as well, right? Um, but how I understand it is, it will just give you a portion of the loan fees. And then there will be some uh, governance attached with holding the token as well, like a governance system. You can have some say in the future of the platform and uh, new features. I don't, I don't really understand. It doesn't really appear to be a big benefit for me to hold in the platform token. But maybe if you are really big user on one of these platforms then maybe it makes some sense to have some might be worth having a little bit but yeah um generally i'm really actually excited about this i've had my eye on this project for a while but didn't really understand the full power of what it can be so possibly that all the tokens you have on polygon possibly or you're going to be able to stake all of them through here and you also got that like i was talking about before you got the permissionless listing you can list any erc20 token that is going to be crazy so you can see what what Aave has brought to polygon now just think about what the potential impact that uniland could have when you can loan or borrow any token so I just wanted to talk about my Aave loan at the moment. If you've been following me on Telegram or Twitter or you checked out my last video, you know that I sold. You'll know that I paid back my loan at about $2.10, $2.20. Um, sorry, I got a video out a little bit late. So do make sure to follow me on Twitter or join the Telegram group for the latest information. Sometimes don't have a chance to make a video and um, I'll put it on there first. And while I'm waiting for an opportunity to take another loan and hyper compound my Matic stack, what I will be doing is I'm borrowing Matic against my Matic and then I'm increasing my realization of this APR here. So the total APR we're getting on a deposit is about, about 8% and the total APY I'm getting on a borrowed amount is about 7%, 6%. So in order to maximize the APR, um, then you need to kind of hyper compound by borrowing Matic, depositing Matic, and just repeating that process and try and get your LTV as high as possible. I'm sitting here at like 48.13, but I could probably go as high as 49.5 the only risks here is like the platform risk or that the variable apy just skyrockets this apy is charged onto the total amount of your borrowed matic so if you reach a really high ltv um, because the apy increases then then you may face some problems but basically it's very very low risk based on my last calculation by doing this you can increase the total APR to about 25% APR, which in DeFi it doesn't sound like a lot, right? But for the safety of Aave and there's no impermanent loss, I think 25% APR is quite good and it's certainly better than just having your deposit here getting, getting about 8% APR. So what I do then is I just claim my rewards here. And then with these rewards, you can either pay back your borrow, increase your deposit. Or what I like to do, this is polygash, I'm in the farm here. I just collect my gash for today. So I like to pair my gash with Matic. 
I will just pair the um, Matic that I got from Aave into my pool here with Gash. What you will need to do uh, is unwrap it. So you need to go to QuickSwap and search wrap Matic and then unwrap it here. Okay, Adamant Finance here also had some issue with some of their pools on here. So they have paused the um, rewards on here and they're issuing new contracts to sort it out. Um, so I'd advise not to withdraw or they're advising not to withdraw from your pools otherwise you'll forfeit your rewards and then it should be back up tonight. In terms of the price of the token, Adamant back up at $50. Um, I'm really optimistic about the future of this. I think we could be, I think this could be pan pancake bunny swap. And I think we could be looking at like $200, $300, that kind of range. So if you're on Polygon, um, definitely come and check this out. Polycat is absolutely killing it at the moment, up to $31. I was telling you guys, maybe take a punt at this. You can still just take a punt, I'd advise, just put in, um, don't have to put too much, just put like 1% of your total value of your portfolio or something in here into the, into the fish matic farm is what I recommend. The pools don't think it's worth it right now. Polycat also got the fiat on wrap here, so if you're new to matic, you can just get straight into it here. The fees are quite reasonable using this. Okay, so the newest thing on Polycat Finance is we have something appear in this fish tank. So you can stake fish and you can earn this GBTS. So Gembytes is going to be a casino platform on Polygon. Um, massive potential in a way because the transactions is so quick. It's going to make a lot of the games run really smoothly, hopefully. Uh, you can take a look at this if you come to gembytes.com, see what you think about it. If we can find the casino, if this potentially has um, the biggest market share on Polygon, I'm definitely really interested in at least taking a punt on it. But but I'm not really sure yet. And looking at the roadmap, um, we've got the release on QuickSwap Q3. We've got provider pool open early Q3. One fully developed game, two games published for public testing, and then late Q3, we've got three games fully developed. So we are we're not really looking, um, we're looking towards the end of the year, um, or at least later this year until we've got a set up platform. But actually, I think Polygon is going to take at least another two to three months to really develop the ecosystem to really get established. So if you're interested in Polycat and you want to help out my channel, if you found anything useful, um, you can use my referral link. I'll put it in the description below. Originally, I've been staking stable coins on the pool from fairly early on. And then I added, I got this up to about $100 and then I added $100 of my own money. And now I've just been taking the fish rewards and and pairing it with Matic to try and build up my pool quicker. And now because of the price increases, I'm sitting on about one and a half grand in here. So this has been performing really good, really, really well for me. I do think Polygash is still a little bit undervalued. Um, this is also worth a punt. And I think it's also worth remembering, um, just based on my experience on Barnett Smart Chain is you only need to be in like two or three of these ones getting like 600% APR. If you're trying to get in every single new farm and find the best one, the newest one, yeah, you can try and do that and you can try and kind of trade it. If you're in like two or three getting like 300% to 600%, something like that range, then you are good. No, no need to keep chasing everything. You can just sit happy. Otherwise, I just recommend coming on DFYN. Um, perhaps for new players, this is also quite good. Uh, the root DFYN pool, I probably recommend coming on here. I think this is going to be a strong one, especially in terms of the token value in the future. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Um, definitely take a look into Uniland. I think it could be absolutely massive. Getting hyped about that. Um, I'll keep you up to date when the latest releases are coming. 
If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to make sure you leave a thumbs up, um, definitely subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. Come join us in the Telegram and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys tomorrow.